Alright, in case if y'all are wondering why this is different, why these are different, some mods were changed and my file was destroyed. So we're starting all over with nothing but a complete slate of nothing but Neo Canines. Unfortunately, I have no other choice but to deal with this. But we're on a different map, different everything, completely clean slate. Steam Geyser. Let's see if there's any more in the immediate vicinity. Where's the other one? Okay, it's right there. There's one there. What is that? Whatever. Let's see, there's a geyser there. Well, since we have one there, do I have a nerd in the group? Rim HUD was the one that was updated that kind of fucked everything up, and no, I don't have a nerd in the group, son of a bitch. At least I don't have a pacifist this time. Cool. We do have two. We do have two wards. I mean, we could try to breed a fucking group of them. Now, I'm sorry to say that we have to go through all this shit again. But. My stuff was completely destroyed, just didn't want to let me fucking recover it, so... Yeah, that's right, I, another thing that was an issue was prepare carefully so I don't have a single I don't have a single fucking cannibal so our food issue is going to be a lot worse but everybody's pretty good at melee alright now Probably gonna want to wall off this shit like nobody's business, but at least we have a place, a, a fairly defendable place where we can wall off our shit. Ooh, and that's a good spot of steel right there. So what we're probably gonna want to do is we're probably gonna want to wall that off. Wall that. First, I'll cancel that. All that, all that, wall that, 
so that we can focus on this being the kill box. And then for this, just that right across. Do that. That. And then probably gonna pull some shit like this right here. choice but to just go down one particular solid hallway they can't bunch up or else it will be a very bad day for them I'm just trying to set up the base defenses before it's even a thing Exactly the thing, one thing I'm happiest about when it comes to this, but there's only so much you can do. There's a damn horseshoes pin, so now y'all can just be like, yay, hey, let's throw shit at things. We're back to eternal fucking pit of never see anything. so everybody's a little bit fucking happier. That'd be great. I'm sorry for the long-ass recording, and again, sorry for the fact that we're starting from ground fucking zero. For the long, for the long wait between recordings, I've been trying to make money as, as a damn dishwasher, basically. See a little bit more. 
At least our geothermal vent is like right there. We got another one over here, but at least we have two available. Again, I don't think wind turbines will be worth it we get, unless we get like fucking eight of them. things we need to do, but research is immediately one of them. Sorry, I didn't see where the door was. Damn it. Alright, so that's two, four, six, eight, sixteen right there. And then if we just go out of our way to cut down all these fucking trees while we can. Okay, so black and green are now on the fuck, but y'all can wait. We need some stuff made. We need these made so that we have power so that we can try to at least attempt to grow food. Sad thing is, we're gonna need that up just so we can try to have electric stove. Damn, the desperation's gonna be evil this time. We're currently, we're cutting down trees left and right so we have as much wood as possible. I know that might seem like a bit of an overkill as far as the amount of trees, but at the same time, eventually, oh, cool, eventually they're going to run out. These trees are just going to die from the darkness. And since we're going to be running on wood fire generators for pretty much ever until we get geothermal power, we might as well get all these fuckers cut down while we can. Since we got our base set, we got everything indoors, components aren't rotting, food isn't rotting, we're pretty much good to go in that regard, we can pretty much just keep on getting a shit ton of trees cut down so we have as much lumber as possible. If we don't do that, then we're going to be kind of up the creek. Also doesn't help that we have a bunch of wood sitting right here that nobody fucking got.
sorry if I if I feel that like hauling this wood seems to be a little bit more important than you guys just relaxing. Green and black and fucking privacy and nobody will care. Fucking ironic. We got Corona. All we need is lime and we're good to go. I figure I might as well have her do all this because we need the lights, we need the food, we need our, we basically need this shit going as is now. We have so much wood be getting queued up to be cut down, we might as well set this shit up now. <clears throat> I honestly don't care if the harvest is botched, we just need this shit taken care of. <laughs> steel so please pardon me I'm only doing this now since we're early as shit on this I'm super tired I would have said a ton of steel but I didn't so we're only doing this for steel steel's not the strongest all right two stacks of 750 that's it no more than that just so we can get shit made I did, I did one free cheat in the last one, it was for a generator, doesn't matter, shit's destroyed now in that regard, so I've taken my advantage of my one free cheat here. In the regards that I forgot to get steel. I will say though, I am glad we're getting all this lumber cut down now. so fucking far, I'm not even gonna worry about it. Yeah. 
Norse or Bilo tribe began to attack the rival faction going to Oh Oh shit We got a faction battle Let's jump in and help him on this one Let's actually have these three jump in Pyromaniac and misogynist. Mm, you're not worth it. <laughs> so, what did y'all have? Y'all had a few beers. Y'all had some medicine. Ooh, some frags. Let's see. Hemican, that's a good one. What about you? Were you really good? <laughs> Careful shooter, steadfast, jealous is a bad one. You're artistic, you're very passionate in construction, you're very passionate in mining, you might be worth the time. Hey, you know what? That was actually pretty cool. Motherfucker just slammed back like two beers. Um, green and Corona, and they are both passed the fuck out. Well, first off, bed for green and black. Cause y'all are the ones fucking, right? Yeah, y'all are the ones fucking. Pemmican, and your herbal medicine, and dates. Yeah, we'll be good with that. Hey, the work's fucked. Yeah, could somebody please just get all these hauled, like, and fueled, please? want each of these fueled so they're out of my fucking way oh yeah fucking great well the other two fucking ironic now ain't it all right well
Alright, well how's the temps? Temps aren't that bad. If anything, I do wonder what's the grid there. Okay, we should have enough for at least one of these fucking things. Let's see, how much do they take? Yeah, we should have enough for at least one of them. Probably gonna want to set it. Well, first off, I'm gonna want to do this. Nope, can't do it there because of the fucking geothermal bat. Alright, now. Furniture, sun lamp. See shit. have like two plan like the last one I feel I didn't really plan these fucking grow things at all. This time we're gonna dedicate it to nothing but we're gonna dedicate each little greenhouse to just one of these goddamn lanterns so that we don't run risk of losing power immediately.
go. And everybody should be sleeping together happily. What I need them to do is finish this goddamn greenhouse so that we can actually grow our fucking food. I have to say, I would like this fucking greenhouse to be built so that way we actually have food growing. I didn't even see it. Whitney Coalition and the community is known as Taylor. That works. Floors. Tilled soil. Well, the construction's getting better, that's for certain. With how many things we're having built here. I don't want to be sitting here watching my fucking colonists sleep endlessly. I like this. This right here is going to be a direct way in and out. Um, hopefully the caravans won't get fucking like, crushed by those, by those uh, cavalry spikes because it's mostly used just to hold off enemies. Or at least funnel the enemies to down here so that way I could just have my guys sit there and carve them apart. I didn't even realize there was uranium right there. It's a lot of fucking uranium. Good thing to keep that in mind. Bitch, get your ass up. We ain't done building yet. Like, seriously, I'm trying to be nice, but don't make me set up a fucking work schedule for y'all. You know what? Fuck it. Too late. for a fact shit gets done. Hey, look, there's another fucking steel mine. Oh, the compacted steel showing around. 
another one right there. A lot of dead bodies right there, but we can't really eat them, unfortunately. None of our characters... Ooh, more steel. None of our characters are cannibals. Psychopaths are one thing, but otherwise... Alright, well, you are in absolute love with your significant other, Corona and Kim, you're okay with, you're okay with everybody, you're okay with everybody, you're okay with everybody, so yeah, everybody's, in a, everybody's cool with each other. At least we're getting our walls of our main base done, and we're getting these fucking trees cut down. We get these trees cut down, we get all this lumber hauled, we have these generators that can do so much wonder for us. thing I'm also liking is that I have enough power to let everybody see. And enough power to keep this fucking thing going. Now, again, since we're in a permanent eclipse, I feel like we're going to slowly go into a flat-out permanent ice age. And the outdoors going to 63 degree Fahrenheit is already telling me that. But we got a geothermal vent that we could use for heating. And I do plan to kind of like greenhouse, greenhouse, have the main pathway in the middle here, power be in the center. Have it where the houses are right around here. Have this be the main fridge since the greenhouses are going to be right here. Need Kim there to finish building everything, really. Now, I don't think anybody has high enough level to grow heel root. That's why I went with smoke leaf. Yeah. We need two more levels before we can even think about making heel root. Which, well, we have that there. Let's see if we can have somebody harvest that. Essentially, if we can get smoke leaf growing, have somebody get better at growing shit with that, and then eventually have our other greenhouse dedicated to, say, like, just heel root and cotton will be good. Who the fuck is suffering with heat stroke? Oh. It gets like hotter than hell out there at some point. Okay. Try to see if you can finish this fucking perimeter. Oh. Alright, well, um, So 
why I didn't get rid of them beds. Specifically for that reason. Hungry? Oh yeah, speaking of issues. I never made a butcher's table either, did I? So we'll do this. just lazy. Who's my best miner? Nobody. Well, Get some steel then. All three of y'all gonna work together on this steel. This is just painful. This right here is painful. Okay.
set up mining orders for when nobody has anything else to do. Let's get the let's get the steel that's in that's within our walls first. My top researcher is green. Personally, I honestly don't mind the idea of hauling. Corona's actually starting to grow shit, so. So the doors be wide open. care but no medicine don't waste our fucking meds on them <laughs> let's just have you sew this whole area I'd rather get it done and out of the way so that way I don't have to worry about it. So that way when the light when the sun lamp turns back on, we actually get value out of it. Let's 
she's being smart about it too. She's going for the food first. Now she go for the drug. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I love the tilt soil mods specifically for this reason. It makes shit grow so much faster. Especially considering we have this bitch up here eating endlessly. Who knows, I, may, I might make the second greenhouse be dedicated to potatoes and shit. Serious, look at this severe fucking temperature jump, man. It gets to like 100 degrees, then it gets to like 70s. Not to mention, I still ain't got anybody fucking researching. Well, it's mostly because Green's still hauling all this fucking lumber. Yep. Yep. The trees are dead. That's exactly what I thought was gonna happen, so she has no other choice. Literally nobody has any other choice but to fucking just haul the lumber that they cut down. Right now, that's literally our only source of electricity. You know what? That's fine. We're fucking eating all our goddamn food, bitch. It's not like we have enough. It's not like we have that shit just growing everywhere. How is your growing going? You're three, you're two. And our main plant experts was literally just picking out. Probably gonna have it grow corn and cotton. Since everybody's doing literally nothing but mining steel because they have nothing else to do, except for my researcher who refuses to research.
Well, we at least have something starting. We have crops growing. We have a base going. Everybody's got the means of defending themselves. We have the outer perimeters built. And we have some pockets of steel being mined. So I think that's doing pretty good. Oh, hey, there's more right here. Really, the big, the big, him, the big limiter now is just no fucking steel. Hey. We gotta get enough steel to completely close this off. And Kim's gotta stop fucking up the damn construction, man. She's gotta stop botching that. Everybody's still hauling, hauling all the fucking lumber, which that's good. I'd rather have too much lumber than not enough. Especially in a world where quite literally it's gonna vanish. <laughs> Who knows, I might make a third greenhouse just dedicated to growing trees. Specifically just so we have power. Because of that, and this, the electrical power is going to be where I can only have these two, hands down. The only way I'd be able to do more is if I doubled down on more of these or get another, or get one of these things. I could get a crematorium alternatively and just burn this shit. Essentially, I'm thinking we're going to have to leave it here on, a, on that note, because one, I'm getting tired, two, it's getting late in time, and three, the video I'm pretty sure is getting long. But we'll keep it going until the timer goes out, because I'm pretty sure everybody here is going to pass out soon anyway. Ain't got shit for miners, dude. But this is a good pro this is a good progress right here. This is good. This shit right here I feel more confident about it is gonna stop there. But I feel more confident about this base and this setup far more than I did my previous one. That I don't mind defending. This I don't mind defending. And this is specifically designed for defending because they'll just funnel through, allowing me to just have everybody be right here to beat the shit out of them and choke point them. And later on, say I do get some guns, I could probably just turn this into a genuine kill funnel where they just bleed out, go up, and I have everybody just here shooting the shit out of them. Either way, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye for now.